Hi guys, and welcome to your November 2019. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hello, hello. Um, hi, gems. What's going on? I hope that this end of Mercury retrograde finds you guys all well and in good spirits. Um, I have um, some interesting messages for any of you who have been going back and forth with a court case. Um, there's going to be some justice. I'm going to go ahead and let you know what they're not telling you. Um, I'm really feeling this is legal, some legal, um, issues here. I believe that this King of Swords could represent someone's lawyer. Um, everything that you need to know is down below. Hello to my new eyes and ears. This is going to be the, what aren't they telling you again from the 15th through the end of the month. Um, right now I am running a Thanksgiving special. It's going to entitle you to an additional or 10% off of any of your readings. Um, that's below everything that you need is below. We are doing, um, a new lo love or the love Oracle card deck, and we are going to find out as much as we can. I can let you know right now though, that there is a sense of taking a chance here with the um, hand of cards. Someone's spying as well. Um, possibly recording things. There's something here with court. Um, justice is here. Okay. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is the card of Libra. I'm just going to let you know, um, there is quiet preparation and quiet preparing with this four of swords. Um, someone is definitely in their head reassessing things with the seven of pentacles here, Jim. Um, and there's a decision to be made with the two of swords. Someone is flat out refusing to acknowledge something that needs to be done, but yet they're deep in thought preparing on and trying to prepare something against you. If this is in love, that's fine. I feel like there is someone's being very strategic here, especially with this seven. Someone is being very strategic. Um, assessing with the seven of pentacles. That's plotting when you put these two together. Deciding not to be open to you. And anything that has anything to do with you from an emotional standpoint, they have definitely blocked that out with this two of swords. Um, there will be a change in fortune though, but if it's been going bad right now, this particular person isn't telling you what they're doing. Um, I see some energy in the Oracle card, so I will get in them. This person watches you possibly stalking. You guys, they're gathering information on you for something, Gemini, um, whether they're going to use it in the legal sense or not. This person is very vindictive. They're using it in a way against you that can make you look bad. Um, this is watching, looking, stalking. They're definitely, this is the sunglasses. They're definitely watching you. Um, Possibly trying to build a case to tell someone in some type of legal environment. Or maybe this justice card doesn't represent court, but it represents the court of public opinion. Maybe there is a lot of um, strong family dynamics in this connection. Um, where this justice card is someone's mom, grandmother, or something like that. And then this king of swords is someone's grandfather or dad or something like that. Where, you know, this person is gathering information, focusing on bringing you down, watching you from afar, not wanting you to know, Gemini, um, gathering things about you. Um, they're definitely in their head though, 
quietly preparing something against you. And I feel like this is something possibly financial when I look at this. Um, I don't see children yet. Let me go ahead and pull these on camera for you. Normally, I already have them, but this energy here is so interesting to me that this person is watching you. They have something that they want to say or something that they're possibly doing in a legal capacity. Okay. Uh-huh. See? Deception. They're definitely wearing a false self mask. I feel like a sheep, a wolf in sheep's clothing. That makes sense. This person is not being right to gather something against you to make you look bad. And it's someone that you used to have a relationship with. Now you guys are fighting. Okay. Um, this person, it's a, this, thank you. This very soon card is coming out for everybody. Everybody's getting very soon. There's an indecision here, but they're definitely trying to block out their emotions. Mentally, not dealing with something. The struggle, drum roll, is the fact that maybe you broke away. You, you don't, this, for some of you guys, this has nothing to do with kids. For some of you guys, this is a divorce. Absolutely. You decided to break that. You decided to love yourself first. You decided to break away from this person, Gemini. No honeymoon. No pet, you, you know, go to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not pass $200. Uh, do, do, you will not get your $200. Do not pass, go. That's what this is. Oh, yes, that's justice. You guys are in divorce court. You guys are possibly gathering information on the other person and that explains it Ooh, we this person is hard at work trying to gather up some crap against you gemini whatever it is they miss it and i'm not even done here oh my goodness i knew it was something oh yes they feel very stabbed in the back by the fact that you don't want this. They feel betrayed. You don't want this and they are feeling it. Oh my goodness, gems. Yeah, you're done with playing the games. You put yourself first. Walked away from this connection. Um, yes, you guys did used to deal. This person lacked innovation, if that makes sense. This person has, look at that. This, this is the this is the cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head absolutely this person is very manipulative very manipulative you got out of there though you're like uh-uh I'm breaking out and they're not happy they're not happy at all over with the honeymoon has ended. You guys are definitely in some type of court thing. I don't see kids this time, but there's a legal aspect to this energy. But I'm telling you right now, um, they are possibly this cassette. They're recording you, watching you, presenting this information to someone in a legal capacity, your parents. Or someone that you respect. I hope not an employer. But this is definitely someone from a legal perspective. You're a lawyer. They're a lawyer. Court. Um, or, you know, I, I still feel legal. But I feel like um, a relationship, a marriage has ended. If this was not a traditional marriage, a spiritual bond, a spiritual marriage has ended. There has been a court cutting ceremony kaput and 
when you got out of this honeymoon um, mode, it, they went completely ballistic because there was a sense of control. So right now, because they feel so stabbed in the back, what they're doing right now, it's a lot of swords too, Gemini. So you're connecting with fellow air. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy is here. A person that is deeply thinking on their revenge and how to get your caboose back. They plotting. They plotting, Jim. They are plotting. And you heard it here first. There's going to be a change in this. Someone's fortune is going to change. We do have that major arcana. Something's going to change. We have justice in the heart of the matter. We have the seven of pentacles, whatever they put into place, they're waiting on their ships to come in and reassessing, or you sent them running back to the drawing board. Okay. Where did that card go? You sent them running to the drawing board. I apologize. These cards are slippery. Yeah. They're running back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be some transformations here. This is the coffin. It's over with. It is a wrap. Okay. R.I.P. Okay. Endings brings new beginnings for you. Like I said, you're going to be in this energy of loving yourself first. So that's your new beginning. You're getting out of this toxic connection with this individual. Like I said, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is everywhere in this reading. Um, with the exception of even the bottom of the day. But we have some strong earth energy. The seven and the eight. Then the bottom of the deck again is more air. Okay. This top of the deck energy lets me know what's going on. They're upset. And what is underlying, what is underlying here is the hurt feelings with the coffin. You bid this RIP. You put an RIP on this. RIP status because you're walking into your new beginnings. Um... Again, here we go. They've been wearing a false self mask. You knew that. You got out of this. That's fine. You're starting to love yourself first. Um, they're trying to block and, and put themselves in the position where they seem that they're doing more. Well, they seem that they're doing better than they are, but they really are deeply hurt by this. And I mean, they, it, whatever you did, you sent them running. When you, when you get this, this coffin, it was a wrap. And I believe that leaving this connection was a huge gamble for you. You really were unsure because this person wanted to keep you bogged down in this energy where you couldn't do it by yourself. That's when you started doing this. Because if you look at this, this is all about risk and taking chances. And this is exactly what this is, hand to cards. That's exactly what this is talking about. Um, again, this honeymoon is over with. But I want you to be careful. They're watching, spying, recording. Um, they are deep in thought. Replaying all of your guys' conversations in their heads. They are, they, they are really going over and over with this cassette in their head over and over and over again. And this energy, plotting hard, wallowing in their misery. Ooh, Gemini, you were not supposed to leave this person. They're like, how dare you? I feel it. Oh my goodness. I'm, I got to get out of this energy. So. I don't know. I hope that resonated. There's going to be, you know, positivity um, in this will of fortune. I believe it's going to work out for you, whatever they're trying to put you up against the wall. But they're watching and they are definitely spying and plotting the case against you. So I want you to pay attention and keep your eyes open. You know, look at that gas lighting, all types of stuff with this sunglass car. So, you know. That makes me feel like they're lurking in the shadows, you know, they're looking, you know, over here, got the sunglasses on, not really letting you know, you know, so wow, Jesus Christ. Well, congratulations for getting out of this. Um, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So if I say it that correctly, 
this is your saving grace right here and justice and justice. I believe that that will work in your favor and it did work in your favor, which was why you got out of this. It did work in your favor. That's the reason why they're angry. They're mad because it worked. They possibly, this court case is either coming up or it's already taken place where they thought that it was going to go a way that they, they wanted it to go because they were stalking you and they were watching you and presenting this crap to the judge and the judge did not go for it and was like, okay, and granted you the out that you wanted and it didn't go the way this person thought. I'm sorry if I'm feeling more so that Gemini, this is female energy and this person is a man. I hate to say it. Um, I don't always resonate vindictiveness to women. Um, this is definitely a vindictive man. That's what I'm feeling. But of course, this I'm reading for the collective. So take it as it resonates. Wow. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. My goodness. This is interesting. I don't even know what to call it. I'm just going to warn you in the title that they're watching you. So be careful. Okay, you took a chance and got out of this. So like I said, congratulations. I will see you guys soon. Um, that is concludes your videos for the month of November. I will be not taking personal appointments from the 25th to December the 3rd. I have about 10 slots available left. Um, they go quick because 10 slots is really only two days. So think about that. Um, I am running the Thanksgiving special. It's going to entitle you to 10% off. That information and the code is below. Everything that you need to get in contact with me is below. I am out of here. I am going to leave you with the two beautiful cards, the saving grace in this reading, and see you next month when we do it again. And I wish you all the best. Happy Thanksgiving. There we go. Justice in the Wheel of Fortune. Bye, Jams.